What's up, y'all? Sorry, I've been banned for five days. TikTok, this is a fake video. Everything I'm saying is not real. And this is for entertainment purposes. We're just gonna talk about how all skin folk ain't kin folk. Woo, here we go. Y'all know how I feel about the justice system. It seems like every time a person of so-called melanin gets into the status of the politics and helping making decisions for America, y'all want to believe that these people are fighting for us. They are helping us. But I want y'all to understand that they're nominated for the things that they've done for the corrupted people. Let's go. She put over 1,500 people in jail for marijuana violations and then laughed about it when she was asked if she ever smoked marijuana. She blocked evidence. man from death row until the courts forced her to do so she kept people in prison beyond their sentences to use them as cheap labor for the state of california and she fought to keep cash you, bail system in place that impacts poor people in the worst that's just one person and let me just say that all of these people that i'm about to introduce to y'all have been nominated from the democratic party Let's talk about Ms. Jackson. Distributed multiple images of child porn, possessed dozens more, including videos. The federal sentencing guidelines recommended a sentence of 97 to 121 months in prison. Prosecutors recommended 24 months in prison. Judge Jackson gave the defendant three months in prison. This is someone who is sitting on the Supreme Court justice today, who is known for her lenient views on pedo crimes. Let's go down the list of your favorite most put out black people. We're not going to talk about how more black people were killed by the U.S. police in 2015 than when they were lynched in the worst year of Jim Crow. All happening during his presidency. And we're not even going to mention the emails. Shall I get on Black Lives Matter? Now, I'm all for the upgradement of black families. But the donations for the upgradement and the help of black people and several communities, the founder has only kept the money in the family. And also buying $4 million mansions. And we're not going to get on the millions and millions and millions of dollars contributed to everywhere else than the Afro community. Also being funded by very corrupt people. Every single time that they put into the media, y'all always like, yeah, yeah, let's get on their side. Let's be with them. Not realizing that these people are the ones who are corrupt. Y'all have to stop trusting things so quickly just because it's represented by someone with the same color of your skin. 